so this this clip is really funny too right this one's a fucking hilarious one because this is another evidence to me that chris at one point just accepted his you know his situation he's i think deep down he knows he's never going to be in hollywood again like that like he was before no netflix shows no netflix specials no big tv show that he's going to be on no big movie um after the whole diddler allegations and pedo shit and now he essentially is in a position in life where he's actually having to rely on brendan shaw for his salary which is probably humiliating right because i'm sure at one point in his career he actually thought he was better than brian and brendan but now they are work colleagues right or he's basically brendan's employer brendan's employee um or brendan's his boss whatever way i'm sure it kind of irks him and also brendan has this thing that he does where i feel like he doesn't have the chops to be like funny and to be like you know banter and to like rib each other and shit so his way to kind of like make up for not having good you know jokes and comebacks and shit is to get physical he does that thing that a lot of kind of like you know uh what's that thing called guys who don't have a good sense of humor right they just get physical and start fucking fighting and chris is not that kind of guy <laughs> yeah clearly you can tell and he starts touching him a lot and it, you can tell it makes chris's skin crawl but he's also too much of a pussy to say anything to brendan you know he's more than able to fucking you know manipulate and gaslight and abuse young girls but when it comes to standing up to another guy he can't do it so he, he's not said anything to brendan you can see he's just kind of accepted it so he's accepted the luck that suspicion that he's in he's going to get physically abused by brendan he has to kind of rely on him to pay his fucking wages and shit and he also has realized via this clip that brendan doesn't understand humor he doesn't understand comedy and this is the clearest example as to why brennan will never be a funny stand-up comedian because fundamentally his brain just doesn't work like that it's not even his fault just his brain isn't wired the way a comedian's brain will be wired to always kind of like you know what type of option to go for in a joke what type of thread to pull he just doesn't have it in him so let's look at this exchange this is fucking hilarious Ooh, no. this is really really good exchange let's play this Oh, I don't know why it does that sometimes, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get rid of that. Let's just make it really put it there. But the thing is, this look, look. If you if the story is so outdated, then make a new story. Yeah, but not call it Snow White. No, no. But they, it's like there's nothing wrong with like, we no, yeah, we like. There's they so, should have so, called her Snow Brown, honestly. Yeah, they, exactly. Snow Black. That could have been cool. Snow, Snow Brown. Brown. That's what I said. Snow Brown. Snow, Snow, Brown. Snow, Snow, Brown. Don't do. Snow Black. Right? Snow Brown is better. Don't make the joke worse. By tagging it worse. Well, no, you want Snow Black. Why? Because explain why. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear this. Go why? Because you want views, right? <laughs> yeah. Snow Black, like it's very, it's exaggerated. Brown, that could be anything. Is she Indian? But that's why it's Snow Brown. You don't know what she is. Oh fuck, dude. We want Jesus. black. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I want Snow mixed. Snow. Snow mix. Mix snow. Mixed um, snow. That'd be the name of it. Ooh. But, but that's coming. To How about Fox. just rain? You know? Dude, yeah like that was brutal right and first of all you have to give chris credit for acknowledging that the initial joke was bad anyway right snow brown is a fucking horrendous joke pretty shit but at least <laughs> it makes sense right because the actress that's gonna play snow white <laughs> is clearly brown right it's clearly it's, it's, so that makes more sense that she's clearly been you know talking a lot about representation and bloody blah, blah blah and reinterpreting the story and it's been a whole big culture war thing so it makes sense why you'd you know why that would be a, the funnier joke to go for the snow black thing makes no sense because that's not what the conversation's about the actress playing it isn't black like so like, that's not what the story is anyways that for me is the precise example as to why Brendan will never be funny, unfortunately, because he's just, his brain isn't wired in that way, you know? It just doesn't, it doesn't fucking, it's not even a sense of humor thing, it's just more so that, like, joke writer type of, like, pun thing, you know, uh, what's the tag, what's the punchline, he just hasn't got it, you know? It's just, it's just a strange approach, like, <laughs> to go for, because, again, it's a terrible joke anyway to start with. It's a terrible joke. Let's not let's not let's not let's not fucking mince our words. It's a shit joke. Right? The whole subject around Snow White is fucking boring anyway, right? It's another culture war thing that people are fucking milking until the cows go home. That girl's become 
She's the new fucking um. Who's the girl that played C- Captain Marvel? She's the new thingy for the culture war whip. She's a new whipping boy for those guys that talk about uh, fucking you know the representation in movies and shit. What's her name? That the girl that everyone hates, um, blonde girl, Captain Marvel or Marvel whatever if that fucking shit is called. She's a new one, so it's just boring the whole topic. But at least Chris tried. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes, her name Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Yo, big up everybody in the chat. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Big up talking up thrones here. Big up, big up. Nice to see you, my friend. Big up everybody else is here. What is the show gets blacked? Um yeah, so yeah, exactly, Marty Moose. He has zero wit. There, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That that's the phrase, zero wit. Um uh Uchi says, look, yes, Chris is actually in purgatory. Yeah, for sure. And again, it's no it's no um it's no consolation to the victims because you know if what he's accused of is true, then they probably want him under a jail. But let's be fair, like, this is also pretty brutal. The guy has to legitimately work with Brendan more than he ever probably intended to in his entire life. And he actually needs him. He needs this. This salary is, like, important because he doesn't have anything else coming in from Hollywood because you'd imagine the guy was probably making a killing when he was at his top, when he was at his fucking pump, right? When he was at the top of his game, you know, no one knew what he did behind closed doors. He was probably raking in the dough. So there's a lot of money to make. There's a lot of fucking, there's a big, you know, gap to make up. And, you know, Golden Hour goes somewhere along the way to pay for that. So he kind of needs to keep this job, which is hilarious. But then he also has to be subjected to, Brendan not understanding the concepts of jokes <laughs> and constantly touching him and touching his balls, touching his chest, touching his arm, which he clearly doesn't like. He's not a touchy feely guy, which is ironic too, because you know, of what he's been accused of. Um bada, bada, bada. the watcher. So he has the same mentality. What's it here? He has the same mentality. Um since the first UFC. It shows in interviews talking about haters and how um with the sit down and talk with him, he don't want to change his mind. What else you got saying here, Mrs. Marvelous Marble? No, I'm, I'm talking about Brie Larson. Sorry, that 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 girl's gonna play um Snow White. Is basically the new Brie Larson for the um you know what you call it for the movie, TV, entertainment, culture war type of people like the nerd rotics, all those kind of channels. Because a lot of them make a lot of sense. I do like their channels and their arguments, but I just think it's a bit you know it's a way. It's just it's you're just shouting into the wind, isn't it? Because these most of these big production companies and organizations are, you know, they they are the way they are for a reason, and it's very little. You know, there's not going to be it's not going to change anytime soon, basically. Um, unfortunately, um, but yeah, I do like some of their positions, but I think sometimes they can maybe just be a dead horse when it comes to all that sort of stuff. But also the girl playing Snow White, like I don't know, like I don't know if she's been told by disney whoever's producing that movie to say what she says in interviews but she's not helping her cause man because every time she stalks like every time she talks you're fucking thinking woman please man just do the movie play the role promote it like i don't know what she's doing man it's a bit weird she's really going our way not to make people to watch it but hey you know we'll have